Hi everyone. So today I have an amazing video. As you all know, LTXV was one of the fastest generating AI video models and uh, I have previously covered it uh, on my channel as well. LTXV actually had uh, the fastest uh, AI generation in video as well as it uses the previous version which was way smaller used very less VRAM. So I would be continuing this because they recently released their 13B model and you can see we already have the GGUA version of that. So for this I am using uh, my laptop which has 8GB of VRAM but it can work like very easily on as low as 6GB of VRAM. So what I am using, I am using this particular one that is the Q4KS version and this is 7.98 GB and as you can see there are many variants so you can go up to Q8 which is almost as the same as original. So very different. Now if you want you can also go and select the smaller models to fit in 6 GB VRAM. Now with that being said, here you can see there are actually two options. One is with simple text, another one is with the image and I'll show how this is working. Do not worry, you will get the whole uh, workflow in the description below. So I'll start explaining and what you need. So basically you'll have this link as well. Here you'll select one of the models that would fit in your uh, VRAM. And let's say uh, I go with Q4KS, right? So after that, you need this VA, BF16 VA, this is 2.49 GB. So you would need this. And you can see here are some workflows, but the thing is I have used some nodes from those workflows, but I have modified it so it can work very well. And I have removed all the extra things. If you want, you can also add on uh, the T cache and everything. But uh, I have found that it works pretty well and good quality without them. Here is also a LoRa loader. So as you can see, now here in the unit loader, you will uh, load up the GGUF version. So after that, you can see this is the GGUF 13B, right? And I am using the clip loader. Always remember to select this as LTXV. If you have it on something else, it might not work. It gives an error. So LTXV and this is the new VA that you downloaded from here, this one, right? After that, if you want, you can uh, use uh, the LoRa loader, but I would not be using it. Now here you can see, uh, firstly, I'm showing the example of the image loader. So you will put one image here. Now this goes to the LTXV base sampler. Here you would select the width and height. You can do it directly here or you can put a node, but uh, I choose to do it like this. Number of frames 97 and after that you can put up the strength. Crop center, there are two options disabled and center. So what center does is that it will crop it from the center of this image no matter what is the proportion. Otherwise it will stretch it. So always remember when you are using it with images, 99% of the time you want crop. Otherwise you will get a stretched image, right? And blur zero right and with that we'll come here the negative prompts i have seen this is like uh, pretty standard you don't need to ch uh, change this again and again now after that this is the ltxv conditioning you just put the frame rate here so i have put 24 and the positive and the negative is going there and it is going directly to the guider Gui it also takes the model So this is it. You can see the model is coming from here. It is setting the model and it is going on from here, right? The sampler that we are using is Euler and the basic scheduler is beta. Steps I am using denoise 1 and the steps that we are using is 30. You can try lower or higher, but 30 is pretty standard. I have seen, especially if you are using a photo, like photorealistic effect. If you have something related to anime or cartoon, you can move this down to, I have seen like 22 or 24 works pretty good. 
and here in the advanced presets you can actually select some presets so you will have 13b dynamic balanced upscale they also release some upscale models and i'll uh, introduce them in a later video i'll be posting one soon in uh, one two days with the upscaler thing and this is for the 2b so i have chosen uh, this 13b dynamic right now this stg guider advance these settings were actually taking uh, taken from this particular uh, workflow that i used so here for the gui uh, guider you can see these are all the values you do not need to change this so you can keep it like that and uh, the noise seed it is 109 it was also uh, present in the workflow but you can change it to anything that you like or you can randomize it one thing i have found is that when you are uh, going through trial and error so one thing that is uh, you can uh, make it fixed so how it helps is that everything that has been calculated previously it would not start from there so it would always start from here if you have not changed the noise otherwise if you change the noise everything will rerun so if you are making very small increments of changes you can do like that so this is the same for both of them and it also if you fix the noise it also gives a standard line of what small changes are introducing what like output changes yeah and after this you can see the same thing and this is also the same thing like you can change you can randomize whatever you want to do and this is the video combine at the end so the frame rate is 24 name prefix and i am using this h264 and everything else you can see it here bitrate is 10 so 10 is pretty standard you can all also use 8 but 10 is pretty standard now the only difference with this and the image is that whenever you want to use the image you have to right click this if you bypass this you can see this particular uh, input is hollow so if it is a ring that means it is optional always remember this in comfy ui so if it is optional then uh, you just need to bypass this and this essentially means that uh, there is no input right now so now if you would generate like uh, you can see i bypass this and now if you generate it will take all the positive prompt and generate from it so here you can see i mentioned a woman in car that has brown hair tied back in a high ponytail and white uh, ribbed v-neck tank top so it is following all the guidelines but if you zoom in very closely you would see that the eyes are a little bit messed up and we can fix this with uh, my upcoming like upscaler video as well but uh, even for the speed it is pretty good for the size and for the speed this is pretty fast pretty good if you compare it with Hunyuan or Van because they take a lot of VRAM and they take a lot of time as well. So for that purpose it is pretty good but there will be some problems sometimes with the eyes and everything but it actually uh, kind of maintains what we want. You can see there is also a problem with the seat. So that is what I wanted to uh, show. The text generation, like uh, simple text generation is not that great. If you select the Q8 version, you will get a better result. And uh, this is it. But when you are using it with uh, an image, it actually works like more than what I expected. Because one thing I would like you to notice is that I just mentioned here, a woman walks and turns around, right? That is all I mentioned. And here you can see like she is, uh, she is putting down the hands and uh, she is walking away. There was actually a tail attached with this costume but it vanishes and understandable. But the thing is when she moves away you can see the brightness of the room increases and this is actually when a focused uh, subject which is over bright would move away so you would know that the exposure gets balanced in most of the cameras so it is trying to recreate that and uh, a lot of things does not make sense like what is this but still for 6 gb of vram and the speed is also quite insane so it is taking me around six and a half minutes six six and a half minutes to create a whole video uh, in low vram so it is pretty fast and this is pretty good so you will have this workflow in the description below so uh, try it out and if you have any kind of comments or doubt put it in the comment section and i'll try to reply as soon as possible thank you